Hey guys, this is Molly from Clean Food Dirty Girl, and today I'm going to show you a very thorough way to wash and dry your greens in a way that's very thorough and very quick. Okay, so here's what you're going to need to do this. You're going to need a bunch of greens, <laughs> all kinds of greens work. Um, what you can do, if you get my meal plans, and then you know that on my meal plans I mention that I suggest that you wash and dry your greens as soon as you get home from the grocery store before your batch cooking day. Now, if you don't get my meal plans, I recommend you do this anyways. Here's why. So when you have a big bowl of washed and dried leafy greens in your fridge ready to go, then throughout the week, it's really, really easy just to grab that bowl of greens, add them to your smoothies, add them to your food, um, and be done with it. If you buy, like, you spend all, you know, your money on beautiful organic greens, and you just put them directly in your fridge, chances are you won't use them in time before they start to go bad. And, you know, the point is to have them in your system, in your body, and not going bad in the fridge. Um, and this is because when you want to go use them, if you have to wash them and dry them each and every time if you want to use them, chances are you won't because you're busy. So if you just do it all in one go, when you get home from the farmer's market or the grocery store, then it will just be done and out of the way. And you'll go and reach for those greens all week long. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need to do this. You will need a salad spinner. So you can buy this at any, like I got this at Target for like eight bucks. Um, any store that has like kitchen stuff will have this. So uh, this has a <clears throat> lid as well. Okay, so next thing you'll need is two containers. So I have one container here. This will have your water that you're going to rinse your greens in that you will toss out with each batch that you rinse. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. And then you'll need another bigger container to actually store all your greens in once they're washed and dried. So the link to the kind of containers that I use will be at the bottom of this video. I don't get paid by the people who make these bowls. These are just the ones that I use. And I like them because um, they're really thick. So you're gonna have too many greens to put them in the crisper you know, drawers of your fridge. So you're gonna wanna put them inside of your fridge. So the thing is, is those crisper drawers are, cool, are not as cold as the rest of your fridge and that's why you put produce in them. But, uh, so if you put them in your regular fridge, you don't want them, you don't want your greens to get too cold and to freeze. So by putting, putting them in a container that's kind of thick, it'll protect them from that cold and they won't freeze. Um, and then this bowl will obviously need a lid to put on when you're done. Okay, so you'll need those things. I also just have a little hand towel to wipe my wet fingers on. You will need a speaker and a telephone, I don't know where mine is, to play your favorite podcast or to play music because that'll make this whole process go by really quick. Uh, so for some of you, if you get greens like I do at the farmer's market, sometimes the farmers will put uh, rubber bands around the greens. So what I do is I take these rubber bands and I just put them in a little container and I save them. And every month I will just bring these back to my farmer, my farmer girl, Rose is her name, and she can use them again. So always have that. And then another thing that's handy is a little a cutting board and a knife. And then some greens, um, like for instance, this lettuce that I bought today, this is the little baby or romaine lettuce, they come in plastic bags. So what I always do is I take them out of the plastic bag, I set the plastic bag aside, and then I'll actually wash and then uh, dry the bags. And I'll put them on the clothesline outside and I'll reuse them because we don't want to waste any any plastic or put any plastic, more plastic in the oceans or in the landfills because there's enough. So I always reuse my bags and wash them. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little tour of what I have here today. So I'm going to reach for this camera. Okay, so what I have is, and this is pretty typical for me for, for one week. I have a bunch of collard greens. I have a beautiful bunch of uh, rainbow chard. I have some bok choy, little one. <clears throat> I have another uh, variety of red bok choy. Another thing of regular bok choy. I have two bunches of watercress. I have a bunch of kale, like this is green curly kale. 
I have a, some dino kale that I already actually washed and dried, so that's in our bowl already. And then I have some romaine lettuce that I'll use for salads throughout the week. I have a couple bunches of that. And then I have a bunch of parsley, and I have a bunch of cilantro. With all of my leafy greens, I will store them all in this container. With my lettuce, it, you know, I'll put all my lettuces in another separate container. So sometimes I'll get romaine and red or some green leaf. I'll put those in another container because I don't do the same things with my lettuce as I do with my leafy greens. So my leafy greens specifically go in smoothies throughout the week, and I also put them just in literally practically anything I'm heating up. I'll just chop them up and throw them in there. Um, and then my herbs, I will store in little separate containers after I wash and dry them. So I don't want the flavors, the flavor of cilantro getting all over my parsley because I do different things with them. So that's kind of how I separate them out. So all the leafy greens in one container, all the lettuces in another container, and then the separate herbs in different containers. So that's it. Okay, so the first thing I do, um, I'm going to show you this is so I get the, my, my, my bowl with fresh water and usually I would be doing this in my actual kitchen by my sink but I'm here doing it with you so as long as you like the first thing to do is lay everything out so lay all of your greens out um, I'll show you again how I kind of have it set up here so you want to lay all this stuff out so that you can just kind of do it all in one go no need to put it in the fridge um, and go back and forth and get it. So the first thing, you lay everything out, you get a container full of fresh water, and so let's start with this kale. So kale has this like fibrous thick stem, so I always separate the stem from the leaves. Now the quickest and easiest way to do this is to take one hand, kind of the base of the stem, and then the other hand kind of firmly grip, and then in one go, you just kind of want to pull up, well, that didn't work so well. Pull up, and then the most fibrous part of the stem will come off, and you're left with just like the leaf. Now, there's a little bit of the stem here, but it's thinner, and this is fine for chopping up or putting into smoothies. So then I'll put that in the container of water, and then I'll just do that with each one. So I'll just, if you do it faster, you can get kind of the whole thing. You're left with this stem. So again, you just put your, you can do one side down down and do one side up save the stem you can save the stems in a bag in one of those bags that your greens came in and then what you can do with these is juice them or you can cut them up like you would like celery or any other veggie and add them to stir fries or add them to other foods throughout the week um, some people just toss them but you may as well use them because they're here and they're they're full of fiber and other good stuff so you I would just keep going taking the stem, taking the leaves off from the stems and putting the greens in this bowl of water. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to show you here. This is the kale in this bowl. And I'm just going to take my fingers and my hands and just kind of gently, just kind of rinse, rinse off the dirt. Just kind of put your fingers in the little, this is curly kale. So some dirt oftentimes like hides in those little like curly areas of the leaf. So you just kind of get in there and thoroughly rinse. Now you'll see, maybe you can see this, the bowl already, there's like a bunch of dirt that's coming off from them. So, and sometimes if you have organic produce and little like bugs, sometimes little worms will come out. It's a good sign that it's organic, no biggie. Okay, so once you kind of like thoroughly rinse, what you want to do is, now I'm going to do this over here so you can have an idea of what I'm doing. Okay, so I have my salad spinner. I have my greens. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer the greens to my spinner. Like I said, usually I would do this above, over the sink so that excess water could just kind of come off and put that in here. Um, you know, depending on the size of the kale, like you could do this all in one go or if it's a really big thing of greens, then you can do it in, in two goes. So I still have like some greens in here, but this is already kind of full, so I'm gonna do this first. So you're gonna put on the lid here, and then do this 
Here we go. I would usually put this on the counter, but you can't see it if I do that. So I'm just going to spin, spin, spin. This is an interesting workout in my um, bicep. Actually, maybe I'll do this like this from now on. Who knows? Okay, so I'll stop. And then I'll set this aside. And I'll just pour this water back into the bowl or in the sink. And then I will do it a second time because the point is that you want to get this stuff really, really nice and dry so that it doesn't get slimy, right? So the drier, the better. And I have kale on my arm. Okay, so I'm just going to spin this dry one more time really, really well. Okay, let's see if any more water came out. It's kind of satisfying, actually. Okay, set that aside. And then it did. Okay. Great, so I always do it twice. So then after I'm done here, I'll just take my washed and dried kale and I'll put it into my big leafy green container and I'll just kind of dump it in there. Now, one thing you can do is there's like, I can fit probably five or six bunches of leafy greens in here and I just kind of press it down gently so that it just kind of gets smaller and I can fit some, it's like, Every week it's full to the brim, but I'll just push it down a little bit, push it down gently, and then fit the lid on top. Okay, so what I would do is I would just go through all of my greens and do that which, with each and every one um, until I was finished. So that's how you do it. Um, this is a really easy thing to do if you do it all at once, and it's a really worthwhile thing to do, like I said, so throughout the week you just pull this bad boy from the fridge, well, you put the container on it, put it away, then pull it out, you'll have washed, dried, beautiful leafy greens ready to go into your smoothies and your food. And the point is to, you know, when you buy this stuff, you want to have it in your body so that all of those um, phytochemicals and vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and fiber can be put to use rather than just wasting away in your fridge. So this is a way to really ensure that you use this stuff. Um, so not only did you spend your money buying this stuff, but you also invested about 40 minutes of your time washing and drying all this stuff. So it's even more incentive to use this stuff throughout the week. Okay, that's it. So I guess I was going to mention too, like when I do my um, like bok choy, I'll take off the, the stem and I'll just lay this on the cutting board and um, see if I can do this with two hands. I'll just cut, can't probably see it, but I'll just cut the very tips off and put these in the compost and then just use the, the rest of it. So even though there's a bunch of stem, I'll use that all the same. And then the same thing with like the, um, the lettuce here. I'll just cut off the stem, like that, put that in the compost and then just wash the leaves. Now with the um, herbs, you can do that same thing, just cut off the root end. But with herbs specifically, like I'll do this exact same method with herbs. So I'll soak them in, in the water, I will spin them dry and I'll put them in a container. And with this, with like this is cilantro, you can just gently twist and then all of the kind of roots are off and you can use the whole stem for things. Some recipes call for just leaves, but for me, I always chop up the stem and put them in there too because I don't like to waste any of the veggie. Okay, so I think that that's it. There was one more thing I was going to tell you, bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum, bum. but I forgot. Can you believe it? Yeah, that's what I was going to tell you. Okay, so as far as the water goes, I change out my water with every bunch. So this kale here, um, I'm going to give my this there's a little bit left, I'll spin this dry, and then I'm gonna dump out my water. But I suggest watering plants, even if you have to do it outside, if you have a tree, um, just reuse the water because it's just wasteful to throw it down the drain. And so I will fill up the container with each kind of thing that I wash. Now, depending on how much dirt is in your produce, you might not have to do this each and every time. Um, and you know, with this, you can see, I'll show you here that it does have quite a lot of dirt. Um, you can kind of see in the bottom there, there's a bunch of dirt and some little aphids and stuff. So I'll just, uh, kind of make sure that I put my water outside over a plant, fill it up again with my next bunch and carry on with the rest. 
Okay, so I hope that this helps. Um, if you have any questions about this or you have your own tips for doing this, then I hope that you um, post them in the Clean Food Dirty Girl private Facebook group. There's so much lovely action over there. It's a fantastic group if you haven't joined yet. Um, and, and put this to use and take a picture and then uh, tag me, Molly Patrick, and show me the goods. Okay, have a fantastic uh, week and weekend ahead and um, week and weekend ahead. Have a fantastic day. Okay, bye. Okay, I have one more quick tip for you. So, you know how I said to save the water or to reuse the water that you, you're rinsing water? Okay, well here's a really easy way to do this so you don't have to, like if you have a tree outside that you want to water, that, um, so here's a way to, so that you won't have to go back and forth from your kitchen to your tree, kitchen tree, kitchen tree, because that would take up some time. So, instead of doing that, what I suggest doing is when you are done with your water, so you have your water, you have your dirty water here. Um, what I suggest doing is taking a bucket and putting a bucket in your fridge. Your cats will be very interested. And then, can you see the bowl? Just um, pour the water, there she goes, into the bucket. And then when the bucket is full, or when you're done with rinsing and washing all your greens, just take this bucket outside and water your tree and water your plants. So that way you don't have to go back and forth. You can do it all in one all in one go. So um, in this bucket, obviously I got it at Ace. This is not an ad for Ace, but I got it. They're not very expensive um, and it's just a handy thing to do. So there's one more tip. Okay, sweet pea, get down. <laughs> okay, bye.